Well, I want to say first and foremost, thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, I had to really take my time out this morning as well as last night and just binge watch. <laughs> Good. Uh, <laughs> <me too. laughs> So I got the whole scoop of the, first of all, this is a lot of family drama. I'm tired. Are you? <laughs> Let me share this with you because I tend to work and then leave the character when I leave the set, like right there. You know what I mean? So I don't really watch my work. I'll see the trailers and all of that. But then this season, I had to sit down and binge watch myself. And I was thoroughly involved and, and invested in the characters and sometimes when you're filming, you don't know what they're filming the next day or scenes that you're not in. But when it all comes together, I said, well, this show is the, you know, I said, okay, I like the way it's filmed. I like the color. I like our characters, how devious things are and twisted and just drama filled. I said, ooh, Emmy nominated, I see why. Listen, I was just like, it, 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 what? first of all, the family is, is definitely divided, okay? I can see why it's called a house divided from we, people getting shot, people killing each other. Um, where is the peace? I, I need to see some mental health going on. <laughs> where is the peace? The Lord Jesus. There's something on the show, you know, they call it a house divided. Now, here, I'm going to just say it my way, but there's so much scandal and so much cheating going on. I was calling it a whole provided. Because <laughs> that didn't seem like to oh God. <laughs> Everybody is out of control. You yes, know, uh, it's a lot it, of fun. Go ahead, it's go ahead. Crazy, I'm sorry. You know? Yeah. Oh, Everybody, it's okay. I'm just saying we have a lot of fun. You go. Yes, you, absolutely. You go. Yes. And everybody <laughs> is out of control. And I feel like um, Lawrence, with your character, and if you can kind of give those that have not watched A House Divided um, details about your character, who he is, and, um, you know, I, I don't want to give away too much, but I kind of feel like he tries he's to rich. Yeah, he tries to pretend like he's the good guy, low key, but he 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 does have his his devious moments. So give me give me the scoop. I, I can tell you this honestly. I'll give, I'll give you an overview. I mean, Cameron Sanders is the um, head of a family, a very successful, very rich family that came out of the banking business that was created from um, an ancestor from the slave days and built an empire that we now prosper from. But it's caused conflicts as we've gone along as a family out of greed or, or position. And I can take over from him. <laughs> um, so really when he has uh, lost his wife, which is my sister, you know, long lost sister, we didn't get along because there's a family secret there. You know, I don't even come to my, 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 um, my sister's funeral, but I come after and I come for him. You know, and first of all, how wrong is that within itself? Well, it's, 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 it's um, fun, you know. I think what's happening with, with, with Lisa Ray and I and how our relationship is building in the show is that there's a little more reason to us, um, you know, because we've been scandalous, but we also have a genuine involvement with each other. There's a true feeling of love there for us. So I think it's developing into a more of a mature relationship and not just jumping in the sack and being like right. wild, nutty kids. Uh, a little bit behind it. That's the, the legacy of, of, of what the show is, is promoting and where we're going. But in, you were saying earlier, in my character, uh, Sarah, is the way I see him, and I've been doing it as each season goes, I'm showing a little more venom in him, a little more toughness, a little more um, to the left. Um, so next season, coming back, I'm coming back hardcore, I'm kicking butts, taking names, except Lisa Ray, and that's it. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna kiss her in the cheek. Now, wouldn't that be interesting so. if we turn on each other and then we have like a pow pow shootout, boom boom? You know what I mean? <laughs> Listen, oh, man, pow, that's a Chicago girl, pow pow. There you go. <laughs> Listen, I'm thinking there is a possibility for that. Um, just the way, you know, and Lisa Ray, if you can kind of delve into your character, I know you said that, you know, it, I, and I, I watched that. The sister has died. You're, you know, the sister, you're coming in, you're claiming your stakes. And whatever that is, whatever you could get, because I, I see some blackmailing, I see some ultimatums going on, and mm -hmm. I really see the um, this character Lisa Ray. Because we talked about like um, maybe like 
uh, not this past Christmas, but a Christmas ago, and it was a more loving film. But this one, you're coming for your bag, seriously. You know what? I can say this about Alexis that, you know, when she has what she has in the palm of her hand, um, she comes because generally she gonna come for what she feels is hers. And when she gets there, she sees all that could be hers. And it's like, well, wait a minute, y'all been living like this while I've been back in Chicago suffering? You know, no, 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 no. But there is a, a real genuine love between them two. I make him feel young. I make him feel loved. That's a different type of love he had with my sister when they were married. You know what I mean? And so mm -hmm. to have that a rekindle, and she's a tough girl, it's almost like it should have been you, but it wasn't. But now that I'm back, we are dealing with everybody inside the house because we don't really want to divide it, but it is being divided because That's of all the scandalous you, things that's going on. She explained it quite well. Yeah, that is really what the show is. And that's who we are. And you know, um, there's a lot of unexpected ideas that have come along um, with the characters go in terms of how we play it. I'm just like Lisa Ray. When I play a character, I get into it and then I kind of leave it and move on. And when I see it as a complete show, I'm like, whoa, we did that. Mm -hmm. You know, but um, I think the sincerity of Lisa Ray's character in mind is there. And I, I like that as it's developing or whatnot. And I wish she was a little bit better looking. If she was a little cuter, I could like her a little bit more. You know, but you know, she had to, she had to work on that part. <laughs> That's what you got to deal with. That's why I love scenes be so long. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, at least we, we, we've, been, we've been buddies for like, what, I mean, 22, 23 years now. We've known each other a long stretch, man. So we, oh, my we, God. So how is that? No, um, I see you guys have like a, you know, a brother, sister camaraderie going at each other personally, and you've known each other for so long. So how is the synergy, you know, being able to kind of portray these characters, you know, Alexis, you know, coming to get her bag and you're a little bit meaner and a little bit rougher with each other on screen. So off screen, you know, I'm pretty sure behind the scenes, you guys keep it fun. You're laughing. What let's, let's, let's go behind the scenes. What, what is it like? So, working off, off screen, this would happen. Off, off screen, I took Lisa Ray and her friends to Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles and we <laughs> ate our butts off. That's what it's all about. <laughs> we got chicken and waffles. There were all kinds of gravy and what was up in everybody's teeth. You know, oh we, we, we was having a nice time. Yeah, you do. There's yeah, a mutual true. respect there. And I'm a fan. I'm absolutely <laughs> a fan of his. And so, you know, when you have that combination, when he comes on set, he's the man, he's the star, he's the lead, you know what I mean? And so he does that and he directs as well. So for me, this is Black Hollywood at its finest. I'll get a chance to work with. And that is showing me you know, adding to my resume, adding to my work reel, you know what I mean? And that's a bonus for me because we we can run down his whole bio and resume from the, you know, Jackson Five father to welcome back Carter to what what uh, 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 um, what's our what's our all time favorite with uh, Cochise, you know what I mean? Like it's so much that embodies him. And then look at him, he's still fine. So I mean, you know, I got good eye candy to work with as well. You know what I mean? So I'm good. <laughs> I love that. I love that. We're, 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 in really good, we're in good shape. You know, we have, um, obviously, we respect each other and we generally like each other, you know. And so with that that's a, a lucky um, thing to have. What's happening in this particular show is that you get to see Black people playing these multi-layers that we don't usually see a lot of times in television. You see, you see it in the old shows like Dynasty and Not Slanding, but here we are doing it tenfold. So the experience of doing it for all of us is beyond fun. Um, is, uh, it's a revelation all the time because sometimes you know, we look at the stream and we're like, I got to do that. But um, yeah. we're having a good time. The audience is enjoying it with us and taking a nice ride. We're blessed to come back for season five, which will start soon. And yeah. um, and I get to work with Lisa Ray McCoy one more time to Real McCoy. And you know what, <laughs> what people don't really realize is that the conditions in which we film in. We've had mm. some tough times where we've had to really endure some things. Like I remember the this, this St. Lawrence, um, I'm going to take you back. We were filming at the beach and we were outside and it was some crackhead there. And when I tell you, she wanted to be in our scene so bad. She <laughs> kept talking over there in the side and I say, shut up. <laughs> You know, and then the, the park rangers had to come and get her, and, and it was cold. And just even the stuff that happens behind the scene is a scene. You know what I mean? It's like <laughs> we talk about before we start, they say action. We be like, so and so, so and so. It's like, oh, action. Oh, and they take some of our dialogue that we're just talking about to start the scene with. They're like, you know, you guys are so comfortable, just action. You know what I mean? And it's like, oh, and and then that's when you have a comfort. It's very, 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 it's very open, um, you know, everybody's very um, 
there's a lot of camaraderie and looseness in it, but there's, it's a simple thing, you know, if you're going to have a work situation, you have to have a foundation. It starts with somebody, you know, to just not be tripping, which I'm not. I could care less about all of that celebrity baloney, you know? And so we all get along. We all know each other for a long time. As, as I said with Lisa Ray, I've known her for many, many years. We've always been cool. But when she did her first gig with me on Martin back in 2000, remember that? Yes, I do. <laughs> you know? Yeah, you know, and we've been cool ever since. The show is moving along in a nice way. And it's going to be more multi layered without giving it away. There's going to be a lot of venom. There's going to be a lot of starkness, um, action, a couple of fisticuffs and so forth. This, it's going to be quite exciting and interesting for uh, yeah. the viewers to get to see season four. I love the fact that you guys are <clears throat> able to air on All Black Network. Um, that, to me, is empowering for other Black creatives that are trying to not, you know, get into whether it be screenwriting or coming up with their own concept of a TV show. And I just um, wanted to kind of get you guys' thoughts on, you know, in the climate that we're in and trying to be a Black content creator or just a creator. And um, how does it feel to just be on a platform where you're uh, of course, embraced and able to kind of have uh, creative control and show Black people in a different light outside of, you know, what Hollywood tries to portray. Lisa Ray first. Miss, 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 Miss McCoy. <laughs> oh, I, you know what? I was so busy listening to this dog barking right here. <laughs> it was like, you know what? I have never really heard that dog bark before, but all of a sudden today, this morning, I'm like, can they hear that? So I apologize. Ask that question again. <laughs> no, I was just saying that. Let me answer on that. You know, okay. he was you know, with, with the um, the, uh, the avenue of black people being on television and other people who are aspiring to be writers, directors, and producers, and we're doing it. What does that mean, and how does it feel? First of all, it feels good. Secondly, it obviously means that we can do it. There are outlets. It's always a hustle. Let's get it real. It's a tough game, you know, being in um, the writing show business or entertainment. But mm -hmm. what um, All Black TV is allowed is to allow many people, you know, Victoria Rowell and, and you know, my friend Richard Brooks and all these people on that network, you know, in a minute they had Maya Harrison on there doing uh, The Fifth Ward. They have so many um, different, and Karen Johnson who played my daughter on Fame doing her show, Mahogany, as a grown up with her husband. You know, the avenues are varied. And the talent is uh, insurmountable. You know, black people just got it. And a lot of people are very diverse. They have a chance to at least have an avenue here to show that and showcase that. And um, black TV allows for that, we TV as well. And it's becoming even more so in the um, behind. Sally Richardson is now directing all over the place. Um, I brought my man Glenn Terman and he's doing way, way a lot and so forth. And many other people that are, are behind the scenes doing it. You know, people, old, old school people like Michael Schuster, Dick Coley, how he's still directing, but Eric Lonaville. And you know Robert Townsend, they're all directing all these different varies of television, and they're bringing their experience to a different, um, to uh, to a variety of types of shows, which are how divided also provides for us to do in a concentrated time. So it's exciting, and I'm encouraging. And Quite. it's yeah. opportunity. It's opportunity for us as well, because even as a newcomer, a newcomer can come on our set and see Lawrence directing now, which is a whole nother level, and it piques my interest in the middle to say, hmm, is this something maybe that I can aspire to do in the future? Because just like he said, you know, you got Regina King, you got Sally Richardson, Tasha Smith that is actually doing it. And so now black people are taking more of the reins and saying, hey, I can do more than just act in this. I can yes. produce in this, I can direct in this, I can write. And, and, and the flow is better because then you're more invested in your project when you have more than just one role because they don't really know that we wear more hats than anything than just acting because you do more than that. There's opportunity here that will allow us to grow, not just right here, but it can start right here. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I you feel know, like- no, 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 just, If I can add, just say, it's, you know, it was always that way. When I, I've been in acting now 55 years. I've been in the game a long time. I'm 68, I don't hide that, I never did. Cause I got the muscle, right? So there you go. But, um, right. you know, um, whatever that is, you know, but I'm saying is that, you know, you had to be diverse. When I was a young actor coming up, when I started, when I was 15 years old in 1969, you had to dance, you had to um, do props, you had to pull cables and so forth. Well, a lot of the um, black performers are very multifaceted and multi-layered. 
and don't have the opportunities or we don't get to see the opportunities of those abilities displayed. What has been happening in these recent years is you see more people producing. Uh, Scott, mm -hmm. you know, I can just go down the line, you know, who are, are doing things all over the place and, um, you know, and, and doing wonderful things. He's got Black Lightning and he's moved on to other many shows, you know, um, uh, Eric LaSalle, you know, um, Carl Weathers is busy um, working on the show and directing, you know, and invited to his house on Christmas and made some good crab. Okay, thank you, Carl. <laughs> anyway, you know, that's just a but um, Mars cooks too, the diversity though. is there. Bringing food to the set and everything. Huh? I, I, I'm catering. Oh, it's yeah. like catering what? <laughs> Can you cook some empanadas? No. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got you covered, baby. You know that. So, you know, the, 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 the opportunity of opening doors and um, or at least ideas. You know, when we're on the set, I'm always an open door. The young actors, I've become like the godfather of acting. They're always asking me questions and I indulge anybody because that's what we're about. We're, we're here to encourage each other and inspire each other and keep it pushing forward. There ain't no quitting. It ain't no punking mm. out. That's the mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Um, You know, Lisa Ray, you're my favorite because you're a fellow Chicagoan. I'm here in Chicago. As, yeah. well, as you, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> that's okay. We'll forgive you. <laughs> okay, thank you. You guys are so nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, I noticed how you kind of implemented, like you, you, you said, Alexis, it came from Chicago. So was that something um, that you wanted to put into the character or was that something that was already established before you came on? They had me in mind for this character. So uh, once they got me and they said, you know, we're going to make her from Chicago, because I don't know if you noticed, but I got that little twang in my voice, that little Chicago-ness there that um, follows me because it is who I am, you know what I mean? And so my voice has become distinguished because I can be at the airport and I can say something, they go, I knew it was you. And I'm thinking, was it the white? And they're like, no, your voice. And I'm like, oh, okay. So, you know, you feel a sense of comfortability when you feel like the character is touched a little bit with your own life. You can have mm -hmm. a realization in there, you know what I mean? And then it didn't hurt that she was kind of like, you know, Chicago, you know, we don't take no S-H-I-T, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, to have that balance in there for me, I was like, oh, I know how to do this girl, you know what I mean? Like, I'm all over this, you know what I'm saying? So it was just the writing. You know, you know, yeah. I know, I was gonna say, but I'm just hearing you, honey. Now, you know, what it is, if there's any kind of a backlog key to where acting comes from, it has to be based on honesty. And mm -hmm. that's what Lisa Ray is saying. She's coming from her truth and she can lend that to a character and then you, you develop it, you know, larger, you create on top of that. It has to come from a real place. That's mm -hmm. where we're coming from. Although it's a, a show and it does, you know, it's a fictitious family. It's based on um, ideologies that we believe and emotional, um, we all been through changes of relationship, let's get real. Okay, and ain't none, none of us ain't been on scar. So we you know we understand that we bring it creatively and we display that as well as, um, as I really feel with myself and Lisa Ray is we're finding a truer um, relationship than just being busy or being scandalous or just being wild. And so that to me personally is because we generally just have a natural like each other. We always did, you know, we always been cool with each other, you know, although she owed me another Roscoe's dinner. But anyway, man, you know, everything's cool. I'm a, I'm a cook. Right. I, I want to let you know I know how to cook too. So that's what I'm going to yeah, do. Yeah, baby, cooking. where's your cooking? I've been cooking hey, you a few right. times. Where's I, your I cooking? I got you. I got you this season. Okay, I'm hungry. I'm, I'm starving at I got okay, know. okay, Lisa Ray. I want to know then if you're gonna throw down for Lawrence, what is gonna be this this dish? Do you already have it in the works, or is that something you know? Do you have a signature dish that you do? First of all, I cook, cook. You know, my mom is from Mississippi, so a lot of folks go, she cook. It's like, yeah, pretty girls know how to cook too, so I can cook anything. Um, but you know what? That means you're gonna have to stay tuned and ask him what I cooked and how did it taste. Okay. Because yeah, I got a big belly, then well, that'll. No, I'm, I'm liking how you look because when I saw him just a couple weeks ago I said oh my god what you doing you look great what's happening so I don't know what he's been doing eating right or, or cutting back or working out or whatever uh, doing out. water <laughs> but he's doing great and he's doing that eye candy still so it's like bravo keep it up keep it up keep it up <laughs> well it's been a pleasure talking to the both of you I know you know I had a time limit and I've surpassed it, but it's so fun talking to you guys. I want to be able to do it again. I know you guys are busy, but always, you know, let me check in and, and let's always kind of continue doing some interviews. And so I know what's going on with this house divided because they it's a mess. Okay. It's a, a mess. <laughs> 
it's a hot mess. But I love it. You know, you love a good, good some, uh, what do they call good that? Hot uh, mess, huh? Good hot mess, good guilty pleasure TV. So I feel like this is it right on the heel, or we're coming up along Black History Month. So people need to come on and support it, not just for February, but for all of the rest of the year. Yes. Thank yeah, you so good. much, Thank guys. You. All righty. Thank you. Have a great rest of your day. Yeah, you as well. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Bye. Bye-bye.